Right, so this is a viewer request video because Brickworks wanted to know how to tie a diamond knot. So here we go. I've wrapped it around my finger. I'm getting my right hand side of the cord and I'm twisting it up like that and then laying it over the top of the left hand cord like that. I get the left hand cord it goes underneath this one here and what we're going to do I'm just pulling this middle bit up we're going over this first cord under the second and over the third so over under over like that and what you end up with is a carrick bend like that now then this cord here is going to go underneath like that and you see where it comes out of my finger here it's going to go underneath round that piece here and up through the middle like that and the other cord is going to go round it's always hard doing this when you're looking through the camera it's going to go round this piece here that wrapped around my finger and up through the middle like that okay and you've got your ends you've got the top loop and all you do slowly and carefully just kind of pull it together a little bit and that's the main shape of the diamond knot but as you can see it doesn't look very good at the moment so now what we're going to do is take the slack out a bit so I'm just going to grab this one lube piece here and I'm going to follow it all the way through the knot and that one's easy there you are I've made the diamond actual diamond knot but look this loop is really huge so what is the easiest way to reduce this loop well the answer is I grab this this left hand lobe here and I just pull it on it a bit and you can see it's reducing that loop like that you get it down to the size you want and then pull the slack through the rest of the knot so it goes up follow it all the way through the knot like that it comes up this side now once you know it's come up here then all you need to do is grab this right hand cord here and give it a tug and there you have a reduced loop but what if I want to get rid of the whole loop altogether well that's easy enough as well you can just I find if you just flip the knot over pull it again and you're pulling the other court the other side and all we do now is just take the slack completely out of the knot and try not to get it twisted and make it look good like that and then just follow it all the way through the knot We're going down here now Bring it back up like that. 
that and then pull again and try and get the twist out and there we've turned it into a button now the reason why I flipped it over is so that you end up with the same length of cord at the end so there you go that is a diamond knot or a lanyard knot whatever you would like to call it if you have a request for a video don't forget to like don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe down below and hit that notification bell as well because every so often I put out a community post to say what sort of video would you like me to make next and if it's a good idea I'll have a go